End the fucking turn, man! Thanks for that twice up. Right, hello everybody. <laughs> and welcome to the Champs Cup uh, quarterfinal. <laughs> Between a Didrex Bull sing. For this fuck's sake, Tony! Oh, God. Stop being shit! Between G Car and Trific. Um, They've both got a wizard because of the magician shop at G Car Stadium. Try has also gone. He gets called Try from the Fash days with uh, Hemlock, who's a brilliant bloodstep step stab player. And for some reason, um, Try has exposed a skink to get punched, which I'm not a fan of. Uh, but the uh, <laughs> the um, the high elves have no tackle at all. And very little block. Most of the guys have got wrestle who've got level up, so I guess the, the stink skinks are actually quite sturdy, aren't they? Um, but yeah, it looks a very unexciting high elf team to be fair. He's got a couple of edge guys, so it's kind of kind of uh, pretty scary on defense, I guess, with all this wrestle and, and agility and stuff. But um doesn't need to re-roll that, does he? I don't think. Does it anyway. Uh, meanwhile, Tri's team is obviously very violent. Loads of block, loads of guard. Mighty Blow Tackler. Um, it's a pretty much a perfect Lizardman team, really, isn't it? Like, obviously, it could just have more stand firm and more Mighty Blow and everything. And, it, you know, it could have extra stuff. But it's pretty, pretty damn good. Very TFE efficient. And very strong. He did he did sack his apple, uh, Tri. Interesting to note that he sacked his ap Apothecary so that he could get uh, Hemlock, which I think is a great idea because this is a very soft high elf team. No Mighty Blow, no Tackle. 11 players. So, um, yeah, he has no Break Tackle. I've never taken, personally, I've never taken Break Tackle on a Solus ever. Um, just because I've never got that kind of high TV and multi skilled Solus where you would want one. Um, I would only really want a Saurus like with five skills or something I break tackle. So I'm all for him not, not having any break tackle. I like that, putting marking the down player with with uh with hemlock so that if he uh unless he dodges out, he's getting stabbed, isn't he? Uh, I've had a I've had a block piling on mighty blow tackle Saurus, which I prefer. <laughs> It is a pretty nice kink, yeah. It's pretty good, isn't it? Two doubles. Double doubles. So he blitzes him. And it looks like he's going to go for the uh, diving tackle. Away. So yeah, he stacked the diving tackle. And the skink. And the tackle. Not that it does anything because he hasn't got dodge. But I like, I like the stacking all these players on this string four guy. What could go wrong putting the edge five? Yes, his his main game winner there, isn't he? Right next to a mighty blow tackler. Yeah, I think I think actually the order it would be better the other way around with tries guys there actually because he, he as it was he could have blitzed this guy maybe. Mm. I guess not so easily. I would still rather just have the uh, the more expendable player up there. Also, he fireballs early. That's a, that's a value, isn't it? That's uh, that's six players. He killed one. Wow. It's just a lineman. Oh, yeah, I don't really like appoing a plus strength lineman. If it was a blitzer, fair enough. And he does need the strength against against lizard men, but that's uh, you could argue that you could argue that apple. Ah, interesting though, using the fireball straight away, isn't it? I mean, I guess he can jam in now. I'm surprised he didn't he didn't sidestep to here to be honest. Interesting sidestep decision. I think I would have sidestep there. Don't know why he didn't. I mean he hasn't got grab or anything, has he? Why didn't he sidestep here? He, now he now he can get the ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double GFI, couldn't he? He could get the ball. I don't know when this game was, Elton. No, this is the quarterfinal. Um, no spoilers, please. Yeah, I mean it was it was very valuable, wasn't it? Six players was a, was a lot to hit. 
Yeah, of course he's just going for the pickup now. Um, that was weird, wasn't it? That was a weird sidestep. Cunning plan to get try to use his GFIs. <laughs> um, but now he fireballs back. <laughs> okay. Okay, he fireballs back. <laughs> and then leaps, picks it up. Blitzes. Doesn't get the power though, because he's got no tackle at all. Ben runs away because he's at five. Yeah, maybe he should have ran back, eh? It's not easy, though, because he's got so much strength and guard that... I guess he could have just dodged everyone away. Yeah, I guess he should have. I guess he should have just gone back. Because he's got so far forward, he could have got way far back, couldn't he? And then just dodged everyone out on twos. That's what he should have done. This is a very, very aggressive, basically potato. Um, <laughs> against a stab. <laughs> Yeah, that was a pretty balmy sidestep, wasn't it? Do not agree with that. Because, yeah, that's the problem. Trying to fight them isn't good, is it? Even when you get men in, you're better off just trying to dodge away. 100% stab blitz, isn't it? There's uh, no point trying to power him without without tackle. Um, double GFI. No, definitely just, just straight up stab him. <laughs> what a glorious... What a glorious stab kills him. <laughs> this is point <a> strength. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that was... Get fucked, you little cunt! That was cunt. pretty good. <laughs> Fuck that off. was pretty good. It can't fail, can it? The thing is, the stab can't fail. So, um, that's just incredible. Like, he still had a blood step in front of him. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm fully behind just going for the blitz stab there. Incredible. Still got to go for pickup, though, hasn't he? Because Edge Four is there. Trying <laughs> six hemlocks. Yeah, you could play a uh, secret league, uh, not secret league, um, stunty league on Fumble, and you wouldn't have to imagine. And he gets the pickup and the dodge out. So, I mean, it's, he's still, it's still far from safe, to be fair, isn't it? This can still be a high-off touchdown, but he's in, a, he's in a bad spot. Yeah, it can't turn over. Yeah, obviously it can fail, but it can't turn over. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I know what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Gets the pow. Pushes him to here. Probably doesn't follow in case he catches it. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. He gets the tuddy. But would he be 2 1 grinded? That's the question. The answer is probably. <laughs> Big KOs, actually. Especially the ball carrier, isn't it? Now this unremarkable high elf team is down to nine players, no ten players. <laughs> the answer is chuckles. Yeah. And this is, isn't it, you know, try is try is not shit at Blood Bowl. So <laughs> So the odds are in his favour to ungrind you if you score first, aren't they? So he's, you know, I, I would take someone two turning me in in pretty much every game as the start of the game, you know. I would start every game being 1 0 down, my opponent scoring in two. So the fact that, okay, he took a little bit longer than two, but yeah, in Wizard Gone is amazing, for sure. <laughs> Cheeky stab. You gotta love going for the stab first, haven't you? One of the rare actions that can't turn over. Cheeky Kaz. And he couldn't really expose anyone worse, could he? That's the problem for him, he hasn't. It's just a he hasn't got super players. 
and he hasn't got many rookies either. It's just a, it's just not a good team really for high elves. He is making safe moves first. He has he hasn't got a reroll though, has he? So he's having to make. Yeah, I mean it is tricky. Four four turns without a reroll is uh, is a bit scary, isn't it? Four turns is plenty, yes, especially when you move an eight. Probably should go for the ball here. Um, you can get 2D on the ball, can't you? It doesn't. I think these high elves aren't very good. I think you should have gone for the ball. The fact that you can just get the hits. Now, it's, it's hard to get hits on the ball with a guard and everything. Um... Oh, did he did he double skull that turn? I wasn't really paying attention. Did he double skull and use his last reroll? Oh, yeah, maybe I don't agree with that though. Oh, double one. Double one on the LOS. Mm, yeah, maybe you should have gone for the pickup first. Dude. Just depends whether you're happy using your last reroll. I think that's what I said at the time, isn't it? If you're happy using your last reroll on the LOS hits. Then, um, then d go for it. Um, yeah, it, 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 not that I thought that, I just think it's, um, it's, uh, it's what you're happier with, isn't it? If you're happy using the reroll on it, then, then do the blocks first. Um, if you're not happy, if you're not happy using the rerolls on the blocks, which I wouldn't have been with only having one reroll, I would have gone for the pickup first because I couldn't have rerolled that anyway, could I? So, um, yeah, with me not being happy about re-rolling, I would have done it. I would have done it that way. If you're happy using your last re-roll on the blocks, then by all means do the blocks, because you can re-roll them, can't you? And it's not that unlikely, it's not that likely to have to re-roll them. Um, so it's fair. Can't try us. To... <laughs> you put the stab in here, couldn't you, to make that it's, he's protected? No, oh, he's putting him out there. There's no leap, is there? So while it, the ball's pr quite unprotected here, this is a game where I think he had to go for the ball now, you know? Um, the Crocs is stupid, so you can get someone around the back and then just dodge in. And okay, it's not easy to dodge in, but it's not getting easier as the time goes on. <laughs> you know? It's not getting easier when he's surrounded by Saurus. <laughs> Yeah, there you go, then try. So there you go. So that's 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 up to you, then, isn't it? That, that's what I mean. I wasn't saying it was wrong. Just I would have rather done it that way. I'd have rather failed the pickup and still had a reroll than uh, used a reroll on the clock. But then you know you could still use the reroll on the block and fill the pickup, right? You could still do both. So it's not like um, it's not like both, is it? It's not like <laughs> yeah. It's not whether you do both, is it? It's not like doing the blocks first means that you make the pickup. <laughs> but it puts you in a better position if you fail the pickup, certainly. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Glorious, can you, uh, can you PM me at my machine? Because uh, that would be easy for me. I'll, I'll just click it now. Click it. Right, I've clicked it. Glorious. I'll check it out later. Um, <laughs> I think I didn't like this. I think I would have rather had him behind. I will put him behind. No, over the side, over this side. I would have put him this side. Um, I remember this. I would have put, I would have put Hemlock this side because, and I'll tell you why. If we look at the situation, we've got double guards this side, making him strength four, and. We've only got a single guard this side, making him strength three. Whereas if you'd put the uh, if you'd put Hemlock in this square, then you again you've got double guard, double guard. So I would definitely have put Hemlock in this square, not that square. A minor, a very minor, um, a very minor detail, but it's you know I think it was. Uh, 
somewhat if you were going Blood Bowl supercomputer way, um, I think it would have been better. But he didn't even try, he just went for a he just went for a journeyman foul. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Hey, obviously, we're going to go for the Hemlock Blitz because it can't, well, it can't turn over. It can technically fail, but it's not going to end the turn. So brilliant, isn't it? It, it is brilliant having an action that can't turn over. Holy shit. <laughs> That's okay. Fouling went down men. He's in a, he's, he knows, he really, I, I'm okay with that foul. Completely okay with that foul because um, a foul with his journeyman because, you know, he's screwed, isn't he? He's got to he's got to get very 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 lucky now to not get ground out for the two nil uh, two one sorry so I'm I'm absolutely fine with like a bad a bad uh, a bad odds foul there because the alternative is to just is to just lose safely isn't it <laughs> you know it's it's worth going for the high risk high reward when the alternative is you're going to lose so. That's quite a nice kick, actually, isn't it, for the elves? Because it gives them a, a short kick, gives them a shot to recover if there's, like, a failed pickup, or even if there isn't, if you get a, some kind of hit on the ball. <laughs> yeah, lose safely, a.k.a. the Fash Binder, yeah. Yeah. Now, obviously, here I'd do the blocks first, because I'm fine with using the reroll on these blocks, and I'm 1 in 36. I don't blame him. The wrestlers are wrestlers are pretty good, aren't they? They're nearly nearly tacklers. Lovely three D. Tail on two men. A tail of two high elves. Gets the ball, and again, I mean, I don't know how you do the hit here, but you do the hit. Oh, well, he's going for it anyway, I think, this time. You've got to hit, because it's the only time it's unprotected, isn't it? And it's not really unprotected, but it's it's the least protected it's going to be. So I'm all for going for the ball there. And he double ones the GFI into a Kaz. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> Absolutely brutal. <laughs> so yeah, that's it's a bit bit unlucky that wasn't it. And now obviously you'll have a full guard cage again. So um that was that's his window of opportunity shut down basically, isn't it? <laughs> it sure does help being lucky as hell. <laughs> Block into another block there, wasn't it? And another Kaz. Yeah, he's getting pretty good dice this game, isn't he, Try to be honest? It is, yes, it is, Wolfpack, absolutely. It is, absolutely. I don't know, it'd be the same as Ornan. Ornan just got shafted by him. Um, so maybe it'd be the same kind of thing. I wanted to see a both down from, uh, from Try there. Both down on no balls, you know? Let's get this party started. What would the what would the high elf do? I don't think you'd want none of that skink. <laughs> you can try and move the crocs here, can't he? Um, doesn't matter too much. Hey, stab first. Good lad. I guess the, keeping the crocs on those two is fine, isn't it? So just hit the other guys and then move up. Yeah, the game is pretty over, to be honest. Yes, path less taken. I agree. It's pretty much over. And it's just... Um, G car rolling some dice, trying to... Tr hoping things will work. As Tri sits in his guard cage, mopping up. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Yes, that's true. That's true, Tri. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The only bad thing about going for that stab first means that you can't now do a stab foul, which would be interesting to see if they had a different animation. <laughs> Another cast. 
<laughs> but yeah, none of the dice really mattered outside. Outside of like once you once you part one the stab the stab on the potato. Um, after that was done, the dice well a little bit, but not really. The dice almost didn't matter after that point. Jim Fowl there, but not bothered. If. <laughs> yes, big if though, isn't it? That's the thing. So that, that's it, once that stab was done, that was that was amazing because it just pretty much sealed the deal. That was his only real threat, wasn't it? This, the uh, wrestler. But even then, he still didn't have tackle, did he? He just had leap and wrestle. And strip. He didn't even have strip, just a leap and wrestle. And arch five. <laughs> if he had a, if he had an agility five, strength five, war dance with tackle, he would have had a two plus hit with tackle on the skin. <laughs> Saw so that. <there. laughs> but yeah, that's it. Once that once the wrestler's gone, it's it's plain sailing, isn't it? Obviously doing the right thing, not blitzing with Hemlock, because I'd much rather try and get star player points. Don't like this. I don't like this hit. Um, I would rather hit this blitzer, so that you could have chained him into a follow-up hit. Um, you know, more chance of SPPs for you guys. Obviously, just a tiny nitpick from somebody who's watching and not <laughs> not caring about it, about whether it loses you the game or not. Obviously, the wrestler has got a chance to get the ball, so I completely understand going for him. He can dodge in or build the ball. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I so I'd probably have done the same play um, because the wrestler can conceivably uphill you and get the ball. So I probably would have done the same, but I think it was probably there was probably more equity <laughs> in uh, in chaining the blitzer for an extra mighty blow hit. For fuck's sake, Tony! Stop being shit! Oh god, another Kaz from Hemlock. <laughs> Outrageous. Outrageous Kaz from Hemlock. Some safe moves first, no doubt. Not blitzing him with tackle. Just basing. Just com just content to base the wrestle. Right, what's this? Three, three, five, uphill wrestle. Let's go. Oh. Nearly. But he can just blitz this guy and move over, can't he? In fact, he can move over before he blitzes him. Totally safely. I'll just move back a bit. Whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Quad skulls here would have been bad. I'd have rather seen some safe moves first. You can catch like a mongoose though. <laughs> Is he going to foul the wrestler with a skink? Yeah. Bit lame. I'd rather seen the Saurus foul just because it's funnier, isn't it? Oh, he needed the seven though, so those two assists were worth it. Another Kaz. Send off. And now, there's just the strength four dodging in for a 1D. He makes it. Nearly. Nearly. There's possibility of surfing the strength 4 now, isn't there? But it doesn't really achieve a whole lot. 
No, they just take the power on him. Would still make it three dice though. I think mean, there's no real cost to making it three dice. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing with Bark, isn't it? If you foul with a cr you don't need that Saurus, whereas you might need a Skink if he'd powered you. And, and broke break AV, yeah. Hemlock's still around somewhere, though, isn't he? Hemlock's still here. So Hemlock would have been a bit of a shout to get the ball back. Uphill, not a double pow. <laughs> I mean, it's been really nitpicky, though, isn't it? You know, like, that's only being... Like, that's obviously only being incredibly nitpicky to the, like, millionth degree. Uh, it's not a, not a genuine, like, Blood Bowl comment, I think. <laughs> Cheeky three dice. Yeah, maybe you don't. Yeah, yeah, maybe. The thing is, the thing is with Asaurus, you know, he's got he, he's got elves, so it's not even that hard to uh, to get the ball and score. I like doing the handoff on the last turn. I don't, I don't even mind doing the handoff on the last turn um, because he ain't going to win in overtime. But if you do, if you do the handoff before then, then he can just pick it up, can he, and score with with like what five or six elves. So I wouldn't have hated not scoring there and taking it to overtime against four elves. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I really wouldn't have hated going for a handoff to like, what, the guy on 29? The guy on 29 somewhere? Yeah, him on 30. I wouldn't have hated going for a handoff to him. Really wouldn't have hated. But before then, before then, you, you've got the, you know, you, he could just he could have stolen it off you when he had like six or seven players. He couldn't go for the handoff, absolutely not, because he could have just dodged in, rolled some dice, and before you know it, he's got the ball and he's fucked off, and you're lost, and you'd feel a right cunt, wouldn't you? Um, <laughs> sure, with bad, but do you know what I mean? Though? Like turn fifteen, he probably could have he could have done the handoff on turn fifteen as well, but could have gone for two handoffs or a handoff and a pickup and stuff, but um. As long as there was a chance from the score, I wouldn't have gone for a handoff because he could have done it, couldn't he? Yeah. But there's an argument to be made for it, though, isn't there? There's an argument to be made. But you're getting an extra skill is really good. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's that's totally fair, Try. Right? That's totally fair. That's totally fair to, to score. Did the only same thing. I don't know. Honestly, it's not. It's still sin. It's absolutely sin to go for the handoff. I think to get an extra level. I think it's absolutely fine. He's got four elves, man. He's got four elves. Wow. That's that's like. It's, it's, the odds are massively, massively. Yeah, you would feel pretty stupid. Obviously, you would feel really, really stupid. So. You know. Also, this one could have got it, and he'd be on fifty. He'd be on fifty-two after getting the MVP. But yes, congrats to try. Commiserations <laughs> to G Card. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you <laughs> yes, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.